Today we're going to do some very basic color animation in Python. We'll add a material to an object and insert keyframes at which it will change its color. I'll be using the 2.83 version of Blender. You can also read the written version of this video on my Python programming blog at prosperacoder.com. Now, step 1. Create an icosphere. First, delete the default cube X to delete and save the file Control S as colors dot blend. Now create an icosphere. Shift A to create mesh icosphere and scale it S. 5. Enter. In the Materials tab over here, you can see there isn't any material, so we'll create one in code. Step 2. Create a new script. Now we need a script, so go to the Scripting workspace over here. Create a new script by pressing the New button and check Sidebar in the View menu. In the sidebar, set font size to 16, so that the code is more readable. We're also going to need the Timeline Editor, so open one at the bottom of the Text Editor. This is the Text Editor. To do that, just hover your mouse cursor over the bottom right corner of the Text Editor until a plus sign appears. Fine. And then, with the left mouse button down, drag your mouse up. And, in the top left corner of the newly opened editor, set its type to Timeline. Step 3. Go to Render Shading. Now, uncheck Sidebar in the View menu. We don't need it anymore, so let's hide it. As we are going to create a material, in order to view it, go to Rendered Shading in the 3D View Editor. This is the 3D View Editor, and here we have Rendered Shading. Step 4. Type in the Python code. We are now going to type the Python code that we need to create our effect. It's going to create a material and add it to the icosphere. Then, it's going to add keyframes, at which the sphere will change its color. So, let's have a look at the code. First, we need to import BPY, which is the Blender module for Python. Import BPY. Then, we're going to create a new material and name it Colored. So, let's create a new material. Mat equals BPY data materials new name equals colored. Fine. Now let's save the icosphere we just created in a variable. So first we need the name of the icosphere, which is here, icosphere, as simple as that. And now we can just use a variable like ico equals bpy data objects and here the key, which is the name of the object, icosphere which must be the same as in the outliner. Fine. So this is how we create a material and this is how we assign an object to a variable. Now let's set the new material we just created to the icosphere's active material. So ico active material equals 
mat. Let's define the colors that we're going to use. Each color is defined as a four tuple, where each of the four values is a float number between 0 and 1. The numbers are for red, green, blue and alpha respectively. Our object is going to be fully opaque, so alpha is always set to 1. The colors are stored in a list. So, let's create a list of colors. Here they are, with the values between 0 and 1 for each component of the colors. So, this is the first color. 1 for red, 0 0.7 for green, 0 0.2 for blue, and 1 for alpha. This color is a shade of golden. Then we have other colors. Here are the names. Fine. Let's create a list of all the frames along the timeline where we want to insert keyframes. There will be as many keyframes as colors in the colors list because we want to change colors at these locations on the timeline. So, let's create a list of frames. Frame 1, frame 30, frame 60, and so on. Now, let's insert the keyframes. We can do it in a for loop. The loop will iterate over both frames and colors, so we need two loop variables, f for frames, and C for colors. Besides, we have to zip the two lists using the zip function. If you want to learn more about the zip function, I have a video about it, so feel free to watch it. So anyway, here we have our loop for frame color in zip frames colors Now, set the material's diffuse color to the current color from the colors list. So, mat diffuse color equals C. And now, insert the diffuse color keyframe at the current frame. So, mat keyframe insert data path equals diffuse color frame equals f index equals negative 1 step 5 Check materials and timeline. Now make sure the name of the object in the outliner and in the code match. This is something I already emphasized before. So here we have icosphere, here we have icosphere, so they match. Now go to the materials tab over here. As you can see, there isn't any material yet. Also, in the timeline, there are no keyframes yet. Now, step 6. Run the script. Now, run the script by pressing the button at the top of the text editor, which is over here. Good. As you can see, the script created a material. Here, in the Materials tab, you can see the material. And named it Colored. Now, you can also see all the keyframes the script inserted in the timeline at the frames specified in this list. In the 3D view editor, you can see the sphere as it looks at the end of the animation. Step 7. Go to frame 1. If you now click the Go to frame 1 button in the timeline editor, which is this one, let's click it, you will see the object as it looks at frame 1. You will also see its initial color in the Materials tab, over here. Step 8. Play the animation. Now, here you can play the animation by pressing this button and watch the sphere change its colors.
Okay, let's stop. Let's go to frame one again. And now we can go back to the layout workspace so that you can see this icosphere bigger. And now we can play the animation again. So at the specified keyframes, the color changes. Well, this is a very basic animation, but I hope it'll encourage you to experiment with colors or maybe other animated properties in Python. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.